Hey guys, uh, today I just uh, completed uh, this uh, nice uh, project uh, using uh, ESP32 uh, board, LEDs, uh, plexiglass uh, satin ice tube um, and uh, plywood uh, for the base. And um, let me take you through it. To start with, I have uh, designed uh, the base in uh, Adobe Illustrator and used the laser cutter machine to cut the 3 meter plywood as you can see here. Now it's done, ready to assembly. And here I just uh, assemble it. You can see here the hole, uh, 50 millimeter hole for the tube to go in. And then I have little uh, legs to go in. So let's uh, now take the ESP32 board and upload our program. For this I use um, micro USB and USB-A. Now I will go to the uh, install WLED uh, website and install uh, the software into the chip. By just uh, clicking install and select the right port that your USB is uh, connected and just simply click um, install. It will take a few uh, minutes and should be very fast start installing the software into the into the chip. So one is done. Then you just uh, go next, and then it uh, it will ask you to configure the Wi-Fi. You just basically find your home Wi-Fi uh, to connect to it. So once uh, you find the Wi-Fi and you put the password, it will take a couple of seconds uh, to connect to your Wi-Fi, and now you can uh, visit the LED. So the most important thing is that to go to the configuration in the Wi-Fi setup and you um, put the AP to always in order to not ever lose the connection to it. So and then save the settings and uh, connect. And um, of course, in this case, now it will uh, regulate it and then try to just uh, copy paste back the IP address to the browser and you are ready to go. So now uh, let's start uh, soldering uh, the cables to the LEDs. So the, on the LED, the middle cable is for the data. And then you will have the uh, plus and minus um, for power uh, to power up the LEDs. Now cables are connected to the LEDs and now we will also solder uh, the cable um, to the ESP32 board. So remember by default the data is, uh, is on um, output to 16. So you can always put to another uh, port but then you need to configure it through the software. So I am just uh, right now I am using uh, the port um, 16 for it and then I am connecting to the 5 volt plus and minus. So now it's ready and uh, let's uh, make a test to see if it works by connecting the power cable uh, micro USB and then we can see all the lights is lighting up. So now I just uh, assemble it uh, inside the board and we are ready uh, to get the LEDs um, connected to it 
and then start putting um, inside the tube and start placing it inside the box and uh, see how it looks so so far looks nice you can as you can see i have put some uh, glue around the board and it very nice looking so once it's powered up it will uh, lighten some default LEDs but then you can go to the software and you can make um, uh, uh, changes and adjust the uh, LEDs uh, the way you like thank you guys uh, for watching I hope uh, you like this uh, nice project I will put some links in the description of my video thanks bye for now